welcome <laughs> welcome everyone today i am so excited you can tell from my voice thank you all for coming today i'm going to be showing you another recipe with rice paper the last time i made um something on this channel a lot of people were asking me what is rice paper what is this what is this i'm sorry i didn't really explain to you so this video i'm going to explain a little bit more so we start off by going to costco i decided to get roasted chicken for this recipe that i'm going to be making today okay so this is what we're using right now I am going to cut up this chicken I'm just going to cut it into tiny bits and I will have to season it again it's already roasted but I like mine really really well seasoned okay that's the way I like it so right here I have a little bit of oil from my stew and some garlic I just put in some curry and some little bit of adobo and black pepper oil seasoning what did I say oil seasoning <laughs> some red bell peppers garlic seasoning you can put any seasoning of your choice with a little bit of salt okay so while that is just sizzling then I'll add my chicken and I'll stir and that aspect is done so I have to pre prep this and keep it allow it to cool down the next step is my quinoa so this quinoa check your package for preparation on how to prepare your quinoa so right now I'm going to wash my quinoa and I'll have to boil it a little bit till it's cooked and I'll prepare this and keep it aside also guys as you can see quinoa looks like rice it takes the place of rice most people have quinoa in place of rice because it's healthier okay So these are my other ingredients that I'm going to be using. Right here I have beets that are already cut up. I have carrots, bell, red bell peppers and the yellow pepper. And this is my rice paper. So this rice paper you can get it at any Asian store close to you or even your grocery store. Just ask the store manager for rice paper and they'll be able to provide it okay so this is what i'm going to be using to wrap all my my ingredients so as you can see i'm going to set this aside this is a little bit time consuming this recipe i'm making is time consuming but it's worth it at the end and then for the vegetable i'm using i'm using arugula most of you know what arugula is i love that smoky taste of arugula it's my favorite right here my quinoa is cooked and i'll put that aside okay and i prepped my cabbage already i cut them up and my arugula is already washed cleaned and i'm also putting them aside like i said it's time consuming but this will wow your guests or it will wow your family members and my chicken after sizzling it's beautiful looking with onions it's done now my rice paper let's go wrapping guys i'm gonna throw that into lukewarm water and here it is it's already back from the lukewarm water so from this stage, I would advise you to work very, very fast. You work very, very fast because if you don't work very fast, it will just soften and it will tear at the end of the day. But we don't want our rice paper to tear. Okay? So I have my quinoa first. 
my carrots, my arugula, and my beets. So guys, feel free to play around it. Put any ingredients first and put any ingredients last. I just do mine the way I like. So right there, I'm adding some yellow peppers, as you can see, and cabbage. And some chicken. And it's time to go wrapping. So what you do, you just press down the ingredients like so and roll your rice paper at the same time. Okay, this is pretty easy to do, but make sure you walk fast. You see how soft the rice paper is? So everyone, this I can have in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. Anytime. So delicious. And it can carry you for the whole day because you have all the ingredients, all the nutrients, everything packed. You can imagine all these peppers, the carrots, the quinoa, the chicken, the onions in the chicken, the arugula, the cabbage, the beets, the beets guys, the beets. You know that the beets is actually loaded. I really, I take beet juice like every other week. It keeps me away from the doctors, you know. It keeps me healthy and it helps my iron too. So I will advise you guys to try this recipe. It's so good, it's all packed. And someone might be asking, why so many ingredients? Remember, the more the merrier, yes. The more the merrier. And then you roll again. It's as simple as that. Look, wow. So I'm doing the third one again, just to show you how easy this can be. I decided to use two rice paper instead of one because I have a lot of ingredients that I'm putting in so it can hold because if I use one it will rip it will rip or it will tear whichever one believe me everyone this this is a, a meal by itself so delicious so packed and so loaded you can't ask for anything more or anything less because you have everything in one wrap think about that my arugula oh i can have arugula with some cut up tomatoes black pepper a little bit of olive oil and I'll be satisfied look at that That's it. So done, guys. Very simple and very easy. So this is the wrap. I'm just going to split one into two for you to see. look at that gorgeousness doesn't this just look 
so beautiful you can imagine all these colors going to, into your system this is so beautiful and yet so delicious okay oh my so i want to say thank you all for watching my video feel free to share like comment and i pray that i'll see you in my next video by god's grace so with this i'm using the dip that i used for the other recipe if you want to know how i made that check my rice paper recipe okay you will know how i made my dip thank you so much stay safe and god bless you see you again by god's grace bye